My name is Peter Doyle and I'm a Chagas Watch Scholar here in Chagas Grange. My supervisors are Eddie O'Reardon, Mark McGee, Aidan Maloney and Alan Kelly. The title of my PhD is Grass Forage and Concentrate Beef Production and Quality Attributes. I am from a beef farming background, hence utilising our natural competitive resource, Grey's Pasture, is hugely important to me. Grey's Pasture is our cheapest feed resource. However, concentrates, which are more expensive, are commonly supplemented during the winter period to help finish animals. It is key to understand our beef production systems to optimise economic and environmental sustainability whilst producing a nutritious product for the consumer. However, there is very little research information on rearing and finishing progeny from the suckler herd on forage only diets without using concentrates. Furthermore, there is very little research information on increasing and performance at pasture and reducing our reliance during the winter. Furthermore, there is little research information on maximizing animal live weight gain at pasture and subsequently reducing our reliance on concentrates during the indoor winter period. Therefore, the aim of my PhD is to produce beef within a system of production where lifetime diets are based on forage only, uh, compare animal and grass growth at pasture on alternative swad structures, and compare meat quality and environmental sustainability of grass-fed versus concentrate-fed beef production systems. Results to date of the PhD highlight that suckler bred steers can be finished on a forage only diet at 24 months of age, which is in line with current age targets. A squad structure can influence animal live weight gain at pasture and reduce our reliance on concentrates. The impact of production system on meat quality and environmental sustainability is currently being quantified. Therefore, it is clear that we are considering sustainable options for both the producers and consumers of beef. As a result, the PhD measured a variety of outcomes from sward morphology, grazing behaviour to the final nutritional value of the meat of different production systems. I am looking forward to disseminating all of this information to key stakeholders as I near the completion of my PhD.